Google Stitch is the new Google AI design tool that brings together UI design and code generation into one platform. Its unique approach to UI UX design by integrating visual design with functional code using AI makes it a great tool for developers and designers alike. If you've tried using AI for UX design before, you've possibly been disappointed. In fact, the last time I tried Gemini model to help me design a simple website ended up with this UI disaster. But within a month or less, things have changed drastically. And now, within 60 seconds, I was able to design this professionally polished travel app using Google Stitch, which made me think, is this the end of UI UX designers? In this video, I would like to share with you a quick tutorial on how to get started with Google Stitch. I'll take you through all the steps that you need to set it up and start creating professional interfaces within minutes for both web and mobile. But just a quick pause. If you enjoy this kind of content, kindly consider hitting the subscribe button to help us grow and reach more people. Back to Google Stitch. To get started, you should visit this URL, stitch.withgoogle.com. This is the location of the Google Stitch tool. You're presented with this interface, which has this sidebar with examples of designs that have been illustrated for you, like a board game club planner, a personal photo library, home pizza cooking, elite class, web app, and such. On the right, there is this chat interface where you're supposed to put in your prompt. Then we have this option for mobile and web. We have these two prompts to get you started. This is the button to send the prompt for your designs to begin. At the top here, we have the modes. We have two modes, the standard mode and the experimental mode. Currently, the standard mode uses the Gemini 2.5 Flash model, while the experimental uses Gemini 2.5 Pro, and experimental model has an image input, but the standard model does not have the image input. The image input allows you to upload a sketch, a mockup, or a visual inspiration to allow the model to use it in your design. That's the major difference between the experimental and the standard mode. On this drop-down icon, we have the frequently asked questions. You can click and see a quick guide on the frequently asked questions about Google Stitch. Then you click on this button to get back to the dashboard. Then we have a forum. We have a prompt guide, which I found useful. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to start a project how to set the vibe with the adjectives, how to refine your app using different kinds of techniques with examples of prompts, and how to adjust the app customization and so on. Back here, we of course have the feedback at the privacy notice. To manage your profile, you click on this icon, then you have the stitch settings, and under these stitch settings, you have allow AI model for training. This is checked by default. You can uncheck it. Then you can also import your projects from Galileo AI. Back to other options. This is to manage your Google account settings. Each of these illustrates examples of what you can build using Stitch. I'll click on the first one and it showcases examples of designs that you can create using Google Stitch. We have this button to copy to Figma, this to like and dislike the design for feedback uh, purposes. Then this button will allow you to edit. Once you click on it on a live design, it's going to allow you to edit. These are examples and they're not going to be editable at this phase, but once we get to our own designs, we're going to use this button to edit. This top menu allows you to change the color schemes. Like you can choose a color scheme of green, a combination, you can change the corner radius, you can change the font, and so on. Then, of course, you click on the apply theme to change the design theme. That's the basic user interface tour of this design tool. We'll start by giving this a prompt to design a mobile app 
and and then a web app for a car dealership website so you input your prompt here help me design a car dealership website that shows a home page a single car listing a category listing with a filter a booking form and a checkout page you can choose web or mobile let's begin with the mobile then click on generate design it immediately starts generating the design and on this sidebar down here you can you can input more prompts to refine your design once the designs are completed so our designs have been completed and under this sidebar prompt you can see the designs you can click on each to open and preview this is the home page of the app and the second one is the schedule appointment which has this form to input the different kinds of booking details then we have a single car listing which looks pretty decent and at the bottom we have this menu then we have this filter which filters the car by make model price range year and resort which looks good finally we have the checkout form form which has the full name the email the mobile and options for the trading vehicle insurance and all that is required to get the code you simply click on this button and it gives us functional code that you can copy and as you can see it's using tailwind css to give us this beautiful design i'll close that and head back to this section suppose you'd like to edit you simply want to click on the edit button then it puts this image here then suppose we don't like the contact at the bottom we can simply say remove the contact from the home page and it's going to start working on it and in the new design we can see the contact has been removed so that's how you use the edit button to remove a specific or maybe improve a specific aspect of your design to take it to figma you simply click on that button and you can now copy this design to figma i've opened figma here and i simply paste it here then i click on allow and i have my design here on figma so you can go ahead and continue editing your design from figma back to google stitch this top button allow you to change the different kinds of themes suppose you'd like to go with this theme you simply click on it and click on apply and as you can see it applies that color scheme to that design and once you click on the code you can see the changes that has been applied to your code so to use the code you simply click on this copy you can copy the code to your code editor back to the other examples if you change to experimental mode it allows you to upload you simply click on this button and upload a design so i have this design i would like to upload this is a design i got online input a prompt then i go with the web since this design is a web then i click on generate designs i'm still using the experimental mode it begins generating the design using the sample i gave and finally we have this design though not very impressive and it did take some time so i edited out some part of the time though the design is not very impressive but at least it gets something that closely resembles the design i gave in this uploaded image that's how you use google stitch to design mobile and web app in my experience the mobile does better than the web for some reason the web tends to be sluggish and at some point once you repeat the design several times it starts getting poor quality designs but of course we expect with time things are going to improve 
and it's going to become a better tool for UI UX design. I hope this is not the beginning of the end for the UI UX designers. If you think this is the end of the UI UX designers, or at least it points towards the end, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this tutorial on getting started with Google Stitch and its capabilities, you will definitely like the Google Firebase Studio, which is an AI coding tool that brings together all the coding needs into one editor. Check out this video that is on the screen to introduce you to Google Firebase Studio, which will help you convert the current designs into full stack apps and beyond. Finally, that's how you get started with Google Stitch and possibly create professional UI design with working code in minutes instead of weeks. In future, I'm going to design a complete project using Google Stitch and show you other comparisons like Google Stitch versus Figma, Google Stitch versus V0, and more. If you found this video useful, kindly consider giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. I'm on a mission to help you learn more AI tools, design faster and ship faster. One like, one subscribe gives me one more step forward to bringing you great content. Thank you and I appreciate it.